The word cavitation is a term that is used to describe an area in bone that has little or no blood flow and is filled with bacteria and their toxins. The most common bones to have a cavitation are the upper and lower jawbone in which cavitation is most often referred to in the scientific literature as jawbone osteonecrosis. The hip and the long bones of the leg are also common sites for osteonecrosis. Osteo meaning bone and necrosis meaning dead. The phenomenon of jawbone osteonecrosis or cavitation has bewildered scientists for over 100 years in that the infected areas within the jawbone are rarely tender, they rarely contain pus, and they're seldom a cause of fever. The most common sites for a jawbone cavitation are where a tooth has previously been removed, especially the wisdom tooth sites. Although the occurrence and treatment for cavitation sites is well documented in the scientific literature, it remains an underdiagnosed infection which can lead to systemic disease. Most often, the diagnosis of a cavitation is made via clinical history coupled with cone beam computerized technology, a 3D CAT scan image of the jaw and facial structures. Over our 20 year history in surgically treating cavitations, we have been astounded by the DNA and toxicology analysis of the contents from these lesions. The toxins produced from the anaerobic bacteria within the infected jawbone can produce or contribute to a wide variety of systemic health issues, ranging from neuralgia to autoimmune disease. Treatment consists of making a small incision over the infected site, curating out the diseased bone and filling in the void with the patient's own platelets and stem cells. We have found this surgical technique, which is virtually painless, to be very successful, and countless patients have testified to the improved health following the procedure. <music>